ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೇ ನಮಃ ಋಕಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋಪೈರುಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿತ್ವಾತ್ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯಭಿದೀಯತೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌಭನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ಬಿಶ್ರಣಿಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೆ ಮಾಕ್ಷಪಿರ್ಯಜತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈ ಸುಷ್ಟು ವಾಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ವಿಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜಿತಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಸ್ತಾರ್ಕ್ಷಿಯೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟ ನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶು ಪ್ರತಾನೈ ಅಸ್ಥಿರಚರ ನಿಖರ ವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ತ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸವಿಷ್ಟಾನ್ ಪುನರ್ಭಿದಿಷಣೋದ್ಭಾಸಿತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸ್ವಪತಿ ಮಧುರಭಂಗ್ ಮಾಯೆಯ ಭೋಜಯನ್ನ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ತುರೀಯಂ ಪರಂ ಅಮೃತಮಜಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಯತ್ತನ್ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪಾದಿ ಪಾದವಿಧ ವಿಷಯ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಲೋಕ ಲೋಕವಿಧ ದೇವ ತದ್ವಿಧ ವೇದ ವೇದವಿಧ ಯಜ್ಞ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಭೋಕ್ತ ಭೋಕ್ತೃವಿಧ ಭೋಜ್ಯಂ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮವಿಧ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಮೂರ್ತ ಮೂರ್ತವಿಧ ಅಮೂರ್ತ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲವಿಧ ದಿಶ ತದ್ವಿಧ ವಾದ ವಾದವಿಧ ಭುವನಾನೀತಿ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಮನ ಇ ಮನೋವಿಧ ಬುದ್ಧಿರಿತಿ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಚಿತ್ತ ಚಿತ್ತವಿಧ ಧರ್ಮಾಧರ್ಮೋ ಚದ್ವಿಧ ಪಂಚ ಪಂಚವಿಂಶಕ ಇತ್ಯೇಕೆ ಷಡ್ವಿಂಶ ಇ ಚಾಪರೇ ಏಕತ್ರಿಂಶಕ ಇತ್ಯಾಹು ಅನಂತ ಇ ಚಾಪರೇ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಲೋಕವಿಧ ಪ್ರಾಹು ಆಶ್ರಮ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಪುಂ ನಪುಂಸಕ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಪುಂ ನಪುಂಸಕ ಲೈಂಗಾಹ ಪರಾಪರಮಥಾಪರೇ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿರಿತಿ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿವಿಧ ಲಯ ಇ ತದ್ವಿಧ ಸ್ಥಿತಿರಿತಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿವಿಧ ಸರ್ವೇ ಚೇಹತ್ತು ಸರ್ವದ ಎಂ ಭಾವ ದರ್ಶಯೇದ್ಯ ತಂ ಭಾವ ಸದುಪಶ್ಯತಿ ತಂ ಚಾವತಿ ಸ ಭೂತ್ವಾಸೌ ತಗ್ರಹ ಸಮುಪೈತಿ ತೈರೇಷೋ ಅಪೃತಕ್ ಭಾವೈ ಪೃಥಕೇವೇತಿ ಲಕ್ಷಿತ ಯೋವೇತ ತತ್ವೇನ ಕಲ್ಪೇತ್ ಸೋ ವಿಶಂಕಿತ ಸ್ವಪ್ನಮೇ ಯಥೃಷ್ಟೆ ಗಂಧರ್ವನಗರ ಯಥ ತಥಾ ವಿಶ್ವಿದ ದೃಷ್ಟ ವೇದಾಂತು ವೇದಾಂತು ವಿಚಕ್ಷಣೈ ನ ನಿರೋಧೋ ನ ಚೋತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ನ ಬದ್ಧೋ ನ ಚಾಧಕ ನ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುರ್ನ ವೈಮುಕ್ತ ಇತ್ಯಷಾ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಸೋ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ ಯಜ್ವಾಂ ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ವಿನಿವರ್ತತೆ ರಜುರೇವೇತಿ ಅದ್ವೈತ ತದ್ವತ್ ಆತ್ಮವಿನಿಶ್ಚಯ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಯಜ್ವಾಂ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ ರಜ್ವಾಂ ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ವಿನಿವರ್ತತೆ ರಜುರೇವೈತಿ ತದ್ವೈತ ತದ್ವತ್ ಆತ್ಮವಿನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಅದ್ವೈತ ವಿನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಭೇತ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಎರರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎರರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ then the raju which is the 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 actual object which is there is clearly known only when the errors are removed then you actually know the truth of the object which is there 
So when the Sarpadara, the Kalpana, which is there on the Raju, when they go up, when those Vikalpas, when the variations are the errored things, like when you have cataract, you see Dvichandraha. This is an example which is given. When you see two, two moons, the problem is with the cataract coming in between you and the moon. Therefore, the moment that cataract is removed, you see what is actually there. Similarly, here also, Nishchitayam Yata Rajuam, when the Raju is ascertained, when the rope is ascertained by the removal of the snake and other superimpositions on it, then only the rope knowledge actually takes place. Similarly, here also, Advaita Vastu, Atma Vastu can be known only when all other kinds of superimpositions on the Atma is removed. In order to show what are all kinds of superimpositions are there, the Karika Gara gave a list of things, is giving a list of things which are typically the list of darshanas or philosophies which existed at that time. Obviously, it can't be an exhaustive list, but it is fair number of Siddhantas that he referred to here. And that superimposition is because of what ignorance of what the Vastu is, different kind of theologies and uh, philosophies <clears throat> were expounded by just looking at the world. Okay, all these are not, not are obtained by what? Which pramana? By what means do people arrive at this? Only by the pratyakshadi pramana, pratyaksha anumana upamana, artabhati anupalabdi. These five pramanas, leaving the shruti vakya, shabda pramana, leaving it aside by just looking at the world by through these pramanas, pratyakshadi pramana, people arrived at different kind of philosophies. They just created what they call as hypothesis, like your Big Bang and other things, based on certain observations, and they make some conclusions on it, is how the whole set of philosophies and theologies have been arrived at. There is no other pramana for those. Or an interpretation which is theological interpretation, which is inconsistent with the text which is there. Like you can say there are Vaidika Darshanas also who talk like this, like Vaikuntha, Kailasa, Golok, Brindavan and all this, Sankhya, there are so many which, are, which say that they go with Shruti Pramana. But again, there is no Samanvaya of all the Shruti Vakyas which is there and also there is certain amount of theological superimpositions because Shruti doesn't talk about Vaikuntha as a place and all that, isn't it? So it is, and again, these are mutually contradictory and a lot of problems are there. But in any case, we will look at all of those because the Karikakara actually has spoken about many of them. <clears throat> and the basis is Pranadi. Pranadi bir anantai istubhavaihi etaihi vikalpitaha Maya Yeshatasya Devasya Yayam Mohitaha Swayam Mohitaha. This Paramatma only who is who is lost in it, the Brahma Vastu itself is actually lost in a sense. Maya Yesha Devasya. Because if everything is Advaitam, then whoever is confused is also the same Advaya Vastu. Okay, but that is also part of the whole Maya only. Pranadivir Anantaistu. How what is the basis for all this? The Pranadibihi. Anantair Bhavaihi. The Prana is the Karana. The Karana Jagat. And that is Avyakrita. Avyakrita Prana. Okay. And that Avyakrita Prana only is the basis, the Karana. And on which then Stula Sukshma Prapancha is superimposed. Hiranyagarbha Virat is superimposed, then the whole 
Srishti is seen because of Maya. We saw all this Maya and all that. So let's not, uh, let's look at more. Yeah. Prana iti, prana vidaha, bhutan iti, chatadvidaha. Tadvidaha, what? How does it end? Mohitaha. Tadvidaha, bhutan iti, mohitaha swayam. Mohitaha also you can take. Or um, later, another verb is used. Prahuhu. Look at this. Lokan. Loka vidaha prahuhu. Okay. So you can take prahuhu also as the verb here. So prana, pranaha iti prana vidaha prahuhu. The karanam, the tatpam for this world is prana. That is Hiranyagarbha. We saw that. The karna bhuta. Atma. Okay. That the karna jagat. So that is pranaha iti prahu, that is a tattvam. Then bhutani iti tattvidha, we saw all this gunaha iti gunamidha. So different people are saying that this, what you see here, the tattvam of it, the, the cause of it is all these things, lokaha, devaha, vedaha, ignyaha, bhokta, bhoktri, bhojyam. This is the tattvam, what you see is only a bhokta, like that we have seen, right? Now let's continue. Sukshma iti sukshma vidaha. So the whole thing is anuprama, anuparimana. Atma sukshma, anuparimana, syad. Even this Jains, they take it like that, right? Anuparimana, atma. Even I think Dvaitis also say it is the same. Anuparimana only. Madhva. Atma is anuparimana, sukshma. Iti, some people say. Again, what is the basis? Just a hypothesis. There is no Anoraniyan, Mahato Mahiyan, Veda says. Okay. So, when Mahatvam, how does it come? We have to explain. So, when you say Anoraniyan, Mahato Mahiyan, that means it is beyond all dimensions. That's how we have to understand. Otherwise, Anoraniyan and Mahato Mahiyan can't make any sense. It can't be both at the same time. Okay, it can be both only if it is beyond both. Tanna Yuga Pate Asesha Sarira Vyapi Veda Ana Vedana Anusandana Asiddehe. So Yuga Pat Asesha Sarira Vyapi. So that is there. So, everything is pervaded by this Atma. So it can't be Anuparimana. There is a pervasiveness which is there. The all pervasiveness is seen is evident. Okay. So that he is using that logic against Sukshma. But Sukshma Tvam, more importantly, it can't be Anuparimana Sukshma unless it is Sukshma as well as Tula, then it is so. If you if you look at it, right? See, we also say Atma is Gudaha Sukshma. We means the Siddhanti says it is Sukshma. But Stula is not separate from this Sukshma. This Atma pervades the Stula Jagat is non-separate. That's a different, that's a totally different perspective. What these people say, the Sukshma Vidaha, they say Atma is separate from everything else and it is like an atom and this atom is what is the cause of everything. So that is what is being dismissed here. Stula Iti Tad Vidaha. Stula Tvam the grass is the cause of the creation. If you say, then here Tikakara says, Mrita Sushupta Yoho Api Sangata Viseshat Chaitanya Prasangat. So if Stula, the grassness is the cause, then there is also like dead and also deep sleep state where the Stula Tvam is not there in one case, like in the Sushupti, but there is existence. In Mritatvam, Stulatvam is there, but life is not there. So there is a Vyabhijara there. Okay, so that can't be cause of creation. Murta iti, Murta vidaha. Again, Murta, Tikakara takes it as Trishula dhari, Trishula dhari, Maheshwaraha, Chakra dhari, 
ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ರೈಟ್ ವಾ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಭವತಿ ಇತಿ ಆಗಮಿಕ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಗಮಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಗಮಿಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟಾದ್ವೈತ ದ್ವೈತ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಗಮಿಕಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಇವೆಂಚುಲಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ the reality to all that as as the one that actually exists okay so they are agamikas people who in even in those days there were agamikas who said bhagwan is in the form of this uh, trishuladhari parameshwara or changa chakradhari mahavishnu and all that as the eternal truth okay as in not so we also again so we have to clearly understand right we i mean having listen to shastra we all understand now okay but for the benefit of those who might think what is this we are are we negating you know maheshwara changa chakradhari vishnu and all that that is not so within vyavahara we accept all that okay and again the rupa and all is is figurative only so to understand the tatva of what is the vastu which is there all these pauranik depictions are given okay it is only for dhyanam and but yeah you can invoke and bhagavan is capable to manifest in that form also so that avatara for example okay so do you take avatara as a as something for for contemplation and meditation or is it like yeah, really happened there can be questions like that right so now the possibility of something like that happening can't be dismissed because you can always understand how ishwara can manifest as as an avatar that is okay so that that we we accept because that that possibility can't be dismissed okay whether there is a historical record or is it like vyasa presenting the tatva as sri krishna or valmiki presenting certain principle as rama that can be points of view okay so there is you can't establish it one way or the other nobody can establish whether it really happened or did not happen both of them are not possible okay you can do based on your own belief you can choose to believe one or the other okay that is the reality of all these things right but even if that happened but it is only bhagwan who came as krishna or rama again it is led to left to what it is left to a person's belief right if somebody existed as krishna and somebody existed as sri rama and then it is only ishwara which is you know sarvavyapi who took that form it's a shraddha only you know but the feasibility of in our view model of how in shruti's model of how ishwara is okay and ishwara is the one as a creator as sustainer and dissolver when the ishwara can project this whole world and projecting ishwaratvam in one of the upadi and be- becoming an avatara is something that is within that model okay you don't have there is no way to uh, dismiss that it cannot happen okay so similarly if a person does penance so will trishuladari come and you know give darshan why not right when bhagavan can do the whole creation the sachidananda is what okay so that is we we can so in that context it is all there and even if you go to the tatparya of what is the trishuladhari what is changa chakradhari what is krishna what then then it becomes a tatvartha and tatvartha resolves into what is the swarupa of of brahmastu okay and in the creation how how the how the ishra is manifest as this whole thing if you want to understand that then also that rupa becomes a thing of contemplation and understanding so we accept we that it is a, in fact that whole pauranika thing is given by rishis who who are basically you know who are mantra drashtar who had a clear understanding of what the vastu is okay but now here we are talking about agamikaha who don't understand the vision behind this and then have emotional affiliation to one form 
and that one form they want they put it juxtaposed against the shastra vakya which is revealing the vastu as sarvatma then they say that dismisses my personal god and my personal god is what is the cause of the creation that is what is agamika they are called theologians then there is fanatism and my god is not your god your god is not real god all that happens okay so my god is the only god what you claim as god is not god he is subservient to my god all that all this on top of you first have the fundamental notion and on top of it you put all other kinds of beliefs also on it and that becomes a theology or what they now call as religion okay so that is the agamika now the question he raises tika kara tadapi bhranti matram asmadadi shariravat tasyapi sharirasya panchabhutikatvat if you look at a trishuladari or chakradari as a person which who has a body who has four hands five hands six hands whatever who holds chanka chakra who has to hold trishula who has to sit on a bull or garuda and all that then that body has to be made up of what five elements only you know your that is how you see or if you think it is beyond the fifth the way you conceptualize it means it is panchabhautika only it is our like our body also has a body maybe bigger than ours has a different color but the way it is conceptualized it should also have blood it should have bones it should have eyes nose ears he has to hold the shanka trishula with his hand so there should be hand hand means there should be bones it should have bone joints everything has to be there no then only your whatever you imagine as the person can be a person and then it has to be created out of pancha bhutas only so asmadadi shariravate tasyapi sharirasya pancha bhutigatvat it also has to be five elemental body okay then how can you say any five elemental thing is given to change asti jayate vardate viparinamate apakshiyate vinashyati in purana we will show everything as stories then krishna was born he grows subramanya is born and then he grows he becomes older initially he goes to mountain and stands on parani then he he wages a war right then sura padma padmasura he did a vada of padmasura then he marries devasena then he marries valli and all that right now this means what the body is growing asti jayate vardate then it has to go to shadbhava vikara has to be there in the body no it's a pancha bhautika that can't be the cause of creation no because that body itself seems to be created the way you describe it is grown it can't be eternal body so how can it be the cause is what is asking leela vigraha kalpanam kalpanam cha vigraha bhave leela bhava abhavad ayuktam okay so vigraha bhava means when there is no vigraha then the leela should be absent before this is born then how does it where does it start that question will come Similarly, Amurta iti tadvidaha. Amurta, it has no form. There is some religion today, right? No form created everything. Sunyavada. So, Amurta, Sarvakara Sunyaha, Nisvabhava, Paramatha. This Amurta creation seems to have existed at least a few thousand years back in India. maybe it is shunyavada that they are talking about but still amurta is the cause of creation or the un, un formless created the world right we have such religions even today not just buddhist buddhist at least says is no creation here they are saying amurta created is the tattva of the whole thing okay kala iti kala vidaha disha iti tad advidaha वाद इति वाद विद भुवना नीति चद्विद सो सम पीपल से काला इज परमार्था द टाइम एंड स्पेस आर एटर्नल एंड दे क्रिएट 
okay so that is one so these things and all we have seen kala has a dependence on chaitanya chaitanya is not dependent on kala okay so which means kala can be the cause of creating everything disha iti cha tadvidaha direction is is the cause somebody says so do we have to even discuss and dismiss these things there is no basis right it's just a hypothesis vada iti vada vidaha vada this tikakara says datu vada mantra vada ityadeha vada so all this pancha datu right um, then mantra mant mani mantra aushada all these things are the ones that but without a chaitana vastu make bringing it all together how can those vadas themselves create the jagat and with so much intelligence which is there see any inert object if you say is the cause right it doesn't make sense because there is so much of intelligence in creation it can't be so whether you call it vada as the creation or disha as the cause of creation both of them have you know so very feeble rational in it bhuvanani iti cha tadvidah this tribhuvana is the tattva okay now the bhuvana itself is a creation only you know of the whole world but then who created the mind because mind means vritti that vritti is the basis for on what is it rooted some people say it is buddhi buddhi is the cause again tika gara says in the deep sleep also you exist no there is no mana or buddhi there okay so sushupte vibicharat he says in the deep sleep existence is there creation is there buddhi is not there manas is not there similarly chitta miti chitta vidaha dharma dharmo chata dharma dharma cause the creation but where did the dharma dharma start first okay for dharma dharma to get accrued itself you need a creation right so then how can you say dharma dharma is the cause of creation then pancha vimshaka ityeke shad vimsha iti cha pare ek trimshaka iti ahu ananta iti cha pare some people says there are 25 principles which is the cause of the creation what are the 25 principles tikagara explains pradhanam mula prakriti one is the pradhanam like sankhya sankhya say 25 principles are the eternal and those are the ones which make up this universe and they are the cause mula prakriti pradhanam that is one then mahad ahankara tanmatrani iti sapta prakriti vikrataya there are seven other principles what mahat ahankara and pancha tanmatra akasha vayu apteja agni and all that these five five tanmatra then mahat ahankara pradanam all of them together eight okay then pancha jnanendriya pancha karmendriya pancha vishaya manascha ekam iti shodasha vikara 16 principles like five instruments of knowledge five instruments of action then pancha prana basically vishaya means then mana then mind so 16 already we had 8 8 plus 16 24 purushaha tu drishi swabhavah the one who is seeing all this is the purusha okay so this is 25 okay this 25 pancha vimsha sati sankhya kah prapancha vastu this whole world is comprising of these 25 things okay which is true which can be it is a model right you can model what you are seeing here into 25 things okay that is fine but kalpana matram pancha vimshati visheshanasya avyavartakatve vayartyat vyavartakatve cha vyavarti apramiti ಅಪ್ರಮಿತ್ಯ ಅಪ್ರಮಿ ವ್ಯಾವರ್ತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಮಿತಿ ಅಪ್ರಮಿತಿಯೋ ಅನುಪಪತ್ತೆ ಹೇ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರಮಾತ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಸಿ ಎನಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಲೈಕ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ 
these things are only mutually contradictory models. Okay, one person says 20. See, next line itself, Shadvim Shaiti Chapra. There's another who says there are 626 who are Patanjala, Patanjala. Ha. What do they say? Punaha Ishwaram Adikam Bashyanta. So, this whole it is it can't be Purusha who created because Purusha is one of the 25 and has equal status as Pradhanam and all this. So, who is the creator? It can't be me, the Purusha. So, there has to be somebody who created all this 25, which is the 26th, which is Ishwara. Iti Patanjalaha. Okay, Saishwara Sankhya. It's called Patanjalamata. So, he says 26. And somebody says 31. Ekatrimshakaha Ityahu. Okay, there are, who are Pashupata. Pashupata, they accept these 26. Okay. But they add a few more. Pashupata, Tu, Raga, Avidya, Niyati, Kala, Kala, Maya. Like, like this, they add a few more. Okay, five more they add. So they say it is 31. Eva Yekatrimshat Padartha Ha Iti Bruvate Tanna. Anyway, so he keeps dismissing all that. Then somebody says Ananta Iti Chapra. There are many manifold, like the modern scientists. There are so many things. You can't bring them under one umbrella. Okay, now how do you dismiss these things? Because they all are having a dependent reality only. They are dependent, right? Without Chaitanya Vastu illuminating them, can you establish their existence? Do they exist without them being all these 31 things being lighted up by Chaitanya Vastu, pervaded by Chaitanya Vastu, without Chaitanya Tvam lighting them up, do any of these exist? And can you separate them from Chaitanya Tvam, Chaitanya Vastu? In every cognition, all that is there is only Chaitanyam. Bhashyagara is going to talk about it later. He says, whatever you see, and even before you recognize that they are all Brahma Vastu, invariably Brahma Vastu is there in each one of those states and perceptions that you have. Like this, the rope was always there even when you didn't see the rope. You only saw the snake. You see the stick. You see Dara. But even before you started seeing the rope, snake there, rope was there. When you are seeing the snake, also rope is there. So it has to be a permanent existence and the only existence. That's what he says. Same logic applies here. That's why Bhashikara doesn't really take each one and dismiss it. What is the point, right? Because these are only somebody's notion. No, there is no basis for those notions. You can't keep, you dismiss 31, then they'll say it's 35. You dismiss 35, they'll say 23. No, there is no, you can't keep going and arguing because it, there is not rooted on any pramana. It's only based on your pratyakshadi. We, and then you make some inferences, you make some hypothesis. And what is the use of those hypotheses? Whether there are 31 things or 35 things, how does it help you? It doesn't give you moksha, right? What is the point in understanding that this whole world comprises of 31 things? What is the benefit? Like your Tarka Sangraha and all this Tarka, they, they define, everything is defined. They model the whole world into a certain buckets. And how does it help? It helps who? It's just a fantasy. That's it. So I, I can define anything using this model then Navya, Navya Nyaya and all that. So, our intent, the Shruti's intent is not to explain the Srishti. Anyway, it is of no purpose. That's why it's a waste of time, Bhashikara says. Lokan loka vidaha prahu ashrama iti chatad vidaha tripum napum sakam laingaha para paramathapare. The world is consisting of these three lokas, bur, buaha, swaha, loka. Okay. All this binna lokaha, you go to the sloka, that is what is the whole thing, the whole whole creation is composed of only lokas, heaven, hell, world, bu loka, seven, seven lokas are there, patala loka. Like even many Vaidika Sampradaya say that, no, like Dvaiti say there are this loka, that loka. Only people who follow Madhva Sampradaya will go to this loka. Others will go to some other loka. 
the whole thing is about going to loka only okay and loka is the only satyam you exist as an entity all the time keep going from one loka to another that's it a better loka to go go to a better loka so you can be more happy that's it that is what they say okay that is loka laukikaha loka anuranjanam eva tatvam anuranjanam so just enjoying in certain places is what is the tatva so we fly from here to new zealand to uh, switzerland to germany to us to enjoy right similarly after death you want to go and somewhere else some loka you go that's what is life ashrama iti tadvidaha then people says different stages keep on changing the stage that is the tatvam someone says three pum napum sakam this vyakarnas whole thing is about gender and all this whole life is about recognizing genders and linga and all that sri pum napum sakam shabda jatam tatvam laingaha he calls them as laingaha okay para paramata pare the some people say there is para and apara there is apara things and para things both are true equally true not like us right apara is para only but seen as apara but here they are saying there is para and apara there is like anumatra things and also there is a para tattvam there is apara tattvam so there is there are many things okay he says dve brahmani veditavye param cha param chaiti kechit parichede kochit api brahmatva yogaat vastutah aparichinnasya tad bhavat aparichinna the parichinna all the aparichinna are both brahman only is what he says anyway that's the siddhanta paksha but these people say they both are true srishti riti srishti vidah laya iti cha tad vidah स्थिति रीति स्थिति विदहा सर्वे चेहतु सर्वदा ओके सो ही कंक्लूड्स प्राण प्राज्ञ बीजात्मा तत्कार्य भेदा ही इतरे स्थित्यंता सो ही कंक्लूड्स कार्य क्या करा सृष्टि ही सृष्टि विदहा सम पीपल से द होल थिंग इज क्रिएटेड लय इति तद्विद सम पीपल से एवरीथिंग बिकम्स अ लय एंड दैट इज द तत्व स्थिति ही स्थिति विद पीपल से एवरीथिंग इज कॉन्स्टेंटली देर दर इज नो सृष्टि आर लय ओके सो दिस आर आल डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ व्यू सर्वे चेहतु सर्वदा देर आर मेनी सच थिंग्स सो बाशिकर प्राण प्राज्ञ बीजात्मा सो द होल कास्ट द बीजात्मा इज प्राज्ञ हिण्य गर्भ विच इज प्राण तत्कार्यभेदा ही इतरे सो आल दि रिमेनिंग थिंग्स वाट एवर वी सा लिस्टेड they are karya beda of pragna so everything is within the same samsara whatever philosophies that you spoke is all within trying like elephant some so many blind men trying to understand the elephant each person is telling something but what is the fact everything is pragna bijatma beda only from the prana to sthiti sthiti hi ti sthiti vidha everything is karya beda they are all manifestations only they are not swarupa anya cha sarve loka laukikaha sarva prani parikalpita bedah rajvam eva sarpadayah so everything is sarva prani parikalpita all these people imagine their own looking at what is seen by them based on their own capacity they come up with some theories okay all these theories and hypotheses are kalpitam based on your own experience and your own upbringing your own time of the world so today scientists look at world somewhere few years back they looked at it in a different way 100 years after they will look at it in a different way some people 1000 years back thought the world is like this this is the karana this is how it is this is the model 2000 years back they thought some other way again based on the cultural things prevailing at that time during ramanuja's time he thought of it in some way madhva thought of it in some way whatever whatever what right now some of those god heads won't even make sense today once you have like you are in a world which is more spread out 
people now know how australians think how americans think how africans think now we'll start questioning if the god is for everybody then how can he have this uh, this particular gada yuda or trishula all that right if it is like you know if it is figurative expression that's a different thing but if it is a factual thing then questions will come and again some other planet suppose it has life so done that those lives they they look very different suppose then can this bhagwan god be like this way who was imagined who was created 2000 years back right all this will come because the world is people have now looked at have capacity to see different things right the world has become small now now our next generation children will ask this question right in future you are saying your god has six heads even today they they will ask he rides on a on a, on a small you know either a, a bird or a peacock how can somebody sit on a peacock and ride or ganesha is so big how can ganesha sit on you know some small rat moose mouse and travel how can elephant head be so all questions will come now if it is a tatparya that you have to explain what is then you can we can answer to some extent so long as they understand they are capable to understand but all this theological interpretations pauranika and all they won't stand the test of time right things are changing world has changed people's vision is changing no based on each generation kalpana is there some conceptualization of what is the creation how is it somebody each person comes with this or her own theory okay it's all part of maya only no no so the only thing which stands test of time is the shruti drishti that even after 1000 years it can't change because it's rooted on a fact all that is here is not separate from chaitanya can anybody change that it's a vision that whether 2000 years back 5000 years back 10000 years later it is a fact it's a fact it it can't change everything else is within maya the only thing which which can stand the test of time is the truth and the truth is that all that is here is non separate from the chaitanya vastu that's it so that is shruti that alone is a final word everything else can be contested this alone can't be contested how do you contest it so rest all is all theories 31 principle 26 principle what is this what is this? so it's all depends on the time when somebody was in 1000 years back ramanuja he had certain views fine but that changes today no madhva had some view change today patanjala he has some view change today things have changed even the science scientists views newtonian changed when einstein came maybe something else will come and dismiss that also the only thing if people resolve to the thing that all that is here is chaitanya then if scientists arrive at that then that can't be contested again right and again what is the pramana right for them you can't arrive at it through a through an observation or telescope or something right so then you have to go to a pramanya buddhi then who gives that vision so the only thing even scientists can't stand right in front of this so the what can be what is uncontested is what shruti says and that vision once somebody gets that can't be contested nothing can touch it no amount of scientific discovery also can touch it because science is in the domain of pratyaksha anumana upamana not in atma even atma when they look at it they look at it as a this they try to take it and then see what is atma then you are already lost in that right swarupa is lost in that search सो अन्य चर्वे लौकिका सर्वप्राणी परकलिता भेदा रज्वाम सर्पादय द रोप इज मिस्ड अंड देन यू लुक अट इट एनी वे यू लुक अट इट एज अ स्ने यू लुक अट इट एज अ स्टिक वाट एवर दट वाट इज तत्शून्य आत्मनी 
ಆತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಹೇತೋ ಅವಿದ್ಯೆಯ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಇತಿ ಪಿಂಡಿತ ಅರ್ಥ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಪ ರಜುಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮನಿ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಹೇತೋ ಅದು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯೆಯ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ so many things are kalpita on it 31 principles 26 principles everything each one accordingly according to that person's own brain intellect that person cal- create something because again depends on that person's capacity to create right see uh, any person's anything that is told by somebody it is dependent on the capacity of that person's buddhi only somebody may be more intelligent than somebody else that's okay but nobody is like completely knowledgeable right so you have to go that's why shruti pramana is the fundamental without pramana then buddhi kalpitam has its own limitations in fact it's too limited yeah, the most brilliant person also doesn't know anything beyond what exists in the earth and probably one more planet does anyone know what exists beyond milky way galaxy nobody knows do you know the truth of everything that is here every insect every living being nobody knows right so there is always so so limited is people's knowledge and capacity to know also so we can't i mean just because we get fascinated by someone's brain doesn't mean that that is truth so you need a pramana so without pramana all this is is a is not worth okay so shruti pramana is necessary but once you get exposed to that pramana and the knowledge takes place then it gets rooted because there is that vision is rooted it can't be shaken because you can see it pranaadi shlokanam pratyekam padartha vyakyane palgu prayojanatvat siddha padartha tvacha yatna na krutah we have seen that there is no point in discussing each one what bashigara had said yam bhavam darshaye dyasya tam bhavam satu pasyati tancha avati sa bhutva asau tad graha ha samupaiti tam so so many philosophies are there okay and they all have their own following also it's not that when you say vishta there are lakhs of people who follow that when you say dvaita thousands whatever number people follow sankhya means follow christianity they have so many people follow right so there is also that so that's what here karya kara says yam bhavam darshaye yasya tam bhavam satu pasyati whatever is one however one recognizes each person has certain clinging once you have that clinging you see only that okay so it's very difficult to take people out of those notion because there is emotional attachment there so many things tam chavati saha bhutva asau okay so that the bhutva bashiga raje asau sa bhutva rakshati svena atmana sarvataha nirunaddi it just keeps the person away from some other philosophy so if you are a vishta dvaiti or a vishta dvaiti that's it you have clinging to it so you it that vishta dvaita itself protects you from you knowing anything else basically it shields you okay same thing for anything any other philosophy also right so that's why even advaiti they may say oh, you are also same right so finally that's why we have to say it's only ishvara anugraha deva umsa madvaita vasana that's it you can't because this is all very contentious thing saying see we can say that hey, you are you are attached to something but they will say that it holds to you also right so <clears throat> anyway so this is kim bahuna pranadinam anyatamam uktam anuktam va anyam yam bhavam padartham darshayet yasya acharya anyaha va aptaha idame eva tattvam iti so how do you know this is because somebody your acharya or some some apta tells you okay this is these are the 31 padarthas are the padartha and that is how the srishti is then you you know that you like that acharya you like that it appeals to you 
then you become part of that Siddhanta, right? So, Satam, Bhavam, Atma, Bhutam, Bhashyati, the person takes it as one's Tattva, Bhashyati, I am Ahamiti, Va, Mama, Iti, Va, okay, this is me or this is mine, Tancha, Drashtaram, Saha, Bhavaha, Avati, that Bhava protects that person from everything else, Yaha, Darshitaha, Bhavaha, Aso, Saha, Bhutva, Rakshati, Swena Atmana Sarvataha Nenunadhi Tasmin Grahasta Kasmin Grahaha Tad Grahaha Tad Abini Veshaha Tad Grahas Samubaiti Dham Tad Abini Veshaha The attachment to it Idameva Tatumiti Satam Grahita Aramupaiti Tasya Atma Bhavam Nigachati Tyaktaha The person becomes one with that Bhava That okay Dvaita Bhava Any religion no that even today we see right so there is a certain your face changes, your activity changes, you become one with you can look at, see when this is what they call Tejas or whatever when Swamiji used to tell when he used to walk from Mambalam railway station, right so people who were sitting at somewhere, they he would be coming in pant shirt and all that when he was a, he was working somewhere then he used to say this person who is selling some vegetables, he would say Aire and he used to ask, how does she know that I am a year? Because yeah, something, right? That face, your looks. Similarly, if some Muslim, you can say is a Muslim by looking at. So, even if the person is dressed in pant and shirt without a bird, you can still say because there is something about it, right? So, what I am saying is that bhava, that what you think about and what you pursue, creates that kind of a, a aura about you. Right, there's, there's a certain aura that that goes with you, okay, based on what you believe in, what you follow. So that's what he says. So the person becomes one with that sampradaya, whatever that sampradaya is. Okay, so that's how the whole thing is, right? Now that is fine. It is applicable in every age, every time, right? There are always many philosophies, many theologies, many things people follow. Not that everybody knows the tattva and and Advaya Satyam and all that, right? There's all in, even in Shankara's days there were these darshanas. Even before him they were there. Even after him they are there. Okay, it's, uh, that's how the world is. It will be like that. That's why Pashigara very respectfully only he says that he doesn't denounce it, right? You see what he says. He says avati and all that. Asau saha bhutva rakshati swena atmana sarvadha nirunadhi tasmin grahaha tadgraha like that, he very, very positively only he says, right? So people will be given to different kind of pakshas, darshanas, and they listen to their acharya and they are they follow that. He says that's okay. We don't accept what they say is truth, but then that is how it is, and they also don't accept what he says is truth. So that's how the whole world uh, operates. So if somebody thinks that, okay, that person, uh, we can go and change the whole world and make everyone as Advaiti and all, you know, he's living in a false... In Acharya's time itself, it couldn't be done. There's always, you know, yeah, yeah, predominantly people who have been Advaitis in India, right? Even today, you actually see knowingly, unknowingly, because it is ingrained in our culture. So, a Samanya is like that only. Okay. Whether they know philosophically or not, but the culture is like that. So, you don't kick on something, you don't step on Lakshmi, rupee note, you won't put your leg on, books, you don't put your leg on. Advaita only, no? you see Bhagavan there. It's all Advaita. How else you can explain all that? Okay, so anyway, so Etair. Yeshaha, Apritak Bhavaihi, Pritageve, Tilakshita, Evam Yoveda, Tatvena, Kalpayet, Saha, Avishangitata, Avishangitaha, Yetehi, Pranadibihi, Atmanaha, Apritak Bhutaihi, Apritak Bhavaihi, Yeshaha, Atma, Rajiriva, Sarpadi, Vikalpana, Upaihi, Pritageve, Tilakshita, Bilakshita, Nishitaha, Modehi, Tirtaha. So the underlying thing is. You take Atma, which is Raju, like a Raju, as Sarpa. Like Pritaktvam is 
his truth iti mudaihi lakshitah nischitah so once that duality is taken as truth then all this kalpana happens vivekinam tu rajvami va kalpitah sarpadeha na atma vitirekena pranadeha santi iti abhiprayah whereas viveki understands that atma vitirekena they don't exist they don't have an independent existence whenever you see anything the atma is unmissed in it idam sarvam yad ayam atma iti shrudehe whatever you see as this idam sarvam iti what you see as this 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 whether it is 31 principles or 26 principles or whatever it is atma eva evam atma vetirekena asatvam raju sarpavate atmani kalpitanam atmanam cha kevalam nirvikalpam yaha veda tatvena shrutitah yutitascha saha avisankitah veda agatah kalpayet kalpayati the person who understands we will see in detail in next session but i am quickly rushing this so that we can get the basic gist of it evam atma vitirekena asattvam rajju sarpadavad atmani kalpita so on rajju how sarpa kalpana is there likewise even though everything is non separate from atma and all that is here is only atma we miss atma and see them as objects kevalam nirvikalpam yaha veda tatve na shrutita hayuti tascha but the one who knows that everything is atma only through shruti and yukti then saha avishankitah vedartham vibhagah kalpayet kalpayati he he understands vedartha exactly the whole veda then can be understood idam evam param vakyam adaha anyapadam this is what is the meaning of this sentence iti the clearly is understood only when atma is understood otherwise everybody interprets veda in our his or her own way but that's what he says here nahi anadya atma vid anadya atma vid adhyatma vid na okay anadya atma vid veda nyatum shaknoti tatvatah okay the veda cannot be understood by a person who doesn't know the atma iti manu vakya is there nahi anadya atma vid kaschite kriya palam upashnute iti hi manavam vachanam the manu vakya is there therefore atma knowing atma only you can understood veda otherwise it is swapna maya avat swapna maye yatha drishte gandharva nagaram yatha tatha vishwam idam drishtam vedanteshu vichakshanai only by vedanta vakya shruti vakya pramana is needed for you to recognize that all that is here is brahman otherwise you will see everything as separate and it doesn't help you it can be a samsari throughout your life that's okay it's your choice but it doesn't lead you anywhere therefore swapna mayavat only it's like swapna vat mayavat gandharva nagaram eta like it is like a spun imaginary world it doesn't give you anything just that it distracts you for some time that's all you think you are enjoying but you are actually getting destroyed therefore this uh, it's all ishara anugraha only what else you can say otherwise you get into so many different there are so many different things different philosophies that can take you away there no limit no end to it om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamidachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om